Hi there, it's Pastor CJ with Grace of the Lord Church. Just wanted to very quickly thank you so much for your continued support and your investment in the work that God is doing through our little old church plan here. We are just over two years old and very excited about the year ahead of us. A year behind us was rough. I mean, I do not recommend anybody plan a church uh, the year before everything shuts down due to COVID-19, but we did survive 2020. I know there's some churches who are far more established than us that have closed their doors. I'm sure you've all heard plenty of stories. Well, we survived. We've been able to, to, to get by financially because of some generous one-time donations from some outside contributors. Um, and the, though we have taken some losses with some people from our church family, they're no longer with us. Uh, the people who are left are just rock solid, real deal disciples. These are the kinds of disciples you want to see reproduce. These are the kind of people you want to build a church with. And so while we are down from where we started, we are really strong in our spiritual health and our core group is a legitimate group. We've got some potential leaders who are going to be walking down our pathway. It doesn't help me much today, but it is an investment that we're making in our future, which I'm very excited about. In fact, we've got more potential leaders walking down our pathway now than ever before. And so that's an answer to prayer. If I could ask you to be praying for anything for us, it would be that God would please increase our leadership capacity because there are some things that we just really need if we're ever going to be able to be sustainable. And so you know, I, I'm praying for God to send me an associate pastor. I need a strong children's and youth ministry leader. Uh, we need some music ministry leaders. We are just, uh, in some of these cores and basics, uh, we just are deficient. So still praying for God to, to send us those leaders and uh, we're grateful for the prospects who are walking down our pathway today. Another prayer request would be that God would rebuild our servant team. We've got some great people on our servant team today who I'm really grateful for. In fact, we've got a, a strong servant team, especially compared to when we first launched. We man, it was I was dog and tired after uh, your average week because of just how many less hands were on the job. But these days, man, we're, we're, we're spreading the work around over some, some helpful people who've just been really great, but still, uh, we have a lot of room to grow in our servant team capacity. We just, there's some basic things that we are unable to do that we're dreaming of being able to do, and we will be able to do one day as our servant team allows. So please be praying for God to increase our servant team. Uh, to praise God, we have a couple of mission teams coming out this summer. Uh, we've got from the Nehemiah teams, two young ladies who will be joining us for two whole months, and we're going to be very evangelistic with them. Uh, from one of our partners at First Family in Tennessee. They're going to be sending a team of missionaries out twice this year. And uh, so we're really excited about what they're bringing to the table. And for each of these mission teams, we're going to be very focused on evangelism. So we're going to be getting after a goal that we've set, which is to saturate the one-mile area around our facility with the gospel, which means specifically that we're going to share the gospel with, not hand a flyer to, but share the gospel with, everyone who lives, works, and plays within one mile of our facility within the next five years. And that's an ambitious goal because according to my research, there are 10,000 doors to knock on just within that one mile of our facility. So we are going to be getting after that. We're going to have to work hard if we're ever going to get there. And these mission teams are going to be huge in helping us to accomplish the goal that we believe God's put on our heart this summer. As we see that sort of evangelism happen, we know the kingdom's going to be expanded this summer. There's going to be baptisms this summer. There's going to be people joining our church family this summer. There's going to be people who, out of that, uh, those new church family members will be uh, walking down our leadership pathway after they've become mature disciples, and, and so therefore answering a number of these other prayers. So please be praying for the evangelistic efforts of uh, these mission teams to be fruitful and that we will be able to multiply disciples in our very, very lost community. Aurora is 96% lost, so there is a lot of need for gospel sharing in Aurora. Now, before I sign off, I want to invite you to something, and for those of you who are local enough to join me, uh, next month, on the third Wednesday of the month, we're having a ministry partner appreciation dinner at our facility. So we're inviting you to come to just let us serve you, love you, thank you, and uh, celebrate some victories with you. Uh, there's going to be a link to the invitation in the comments section of this video. Uh, so please let me know if you can make it. We'd love to just to just eat with you and be with you and celebrate with you uh, for dinner next month. Uh, thanks again for your support. Very grateful for you. I hope you have a great rest of your day.